Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Week in Review for Module 7. So let's jump right into it and see what we're doing this week as we only have a couple more weeks left in the course. So uh, Module 7, we're going to be looking at revenue cycle and current accounts. Really, we're focusing on uh, more, I considered like tactical decision making that you would be doing as a manager versus more strategic, which is kind of some of the big picture stuff that we've talked about a lot in the course. You know, the purchasing of capital equipment and how you're going to do that and cash flows over periods of years. Uh, you know, we've been thinking in pretty big project, big picture kind of things. Uh, those do occur. They're a little less uh, frequent, obviously, than some of the day-to-day, month-to-month concerns that you're going to have as a manager, a supervisor. And that's what we're going to talk a little bit more about in this module, more of that tactical decision-making. So you may hear a couple of words used uh, in business uh, buzz, in business lexicon, strategic and tactical. Strategic is that big, long-term picture. Tactical is kind of the day-to-day, month-to-month um, situations that you face, really that are probably the, the meat and potatoes of your job is dealing with all the tactical fires <laughs> that, are, that come up throughout your day. So we're going to be looking at more tactical items here this week with revenue cycle that you see over here and with uh, our current accounts. So let's, let's go ahead and take a look at the module and uh, what we're doing. Uh, readings and presentations will be normal. I should. The plan is to have three lectures for you. Uh, some of those should be produced this week, or I should say today. They most likely, just looking at my time right now because of my tactical fires that are erupting, uh, we are going to be looking uh, probably at one more popping up on Tuesday. So, but go ahead, start that reading. We got reading to do. There's a lot of. Um, it's kind of definition based this week. A lot of definitions, a lot of concepts that you may not be aware of. Um, a little bit lighter on the math. Yay, I'm sure you're excited about that. Uh, so, you know, start reading. That's, you know, do that today and tomorrow. That'll be a good start for you. And then supplement that reading with the lectures that I'm going to give you uh, that'll be popping up today and tomorrow in the uh, presentation area. We've got our topic essay this week. Let me go ahead and pull that up. The topic essay. Uh, we're going to be talking about revenue cycle. So really the whole paper is just talking about what the revenue cycle is. Make sure that you're talking about what the four phases of the revenue cycle are. Uh, discuss the common metrics used. How do you measure and watch your revenue cycle? Okay, so discuss, uh, you know, uh, two of those be a good idea. Uh, and then discuss the importance of revenue cycle management. Why do we do this stuff Anyway, why is it important to the organization? Why is it important to your keeping that uh, keeping your job? So discuss uh, the importance of revenue cycle management to healthcare organizations. And as always, uh, this assignment will be due on Sunday. All right, same standard, two pages. You know that drill. Okay. So, and then we got a learning activity. We're gonna have one question. Okay, sixteen two and two problems. Uh, and I think uh, the problem should be um, not too bad this week. Okay, so again, look for my lectures. We'll be centering more on the problems because, again, that's probably the hardest part of the course is working through the kind of the conceptual math stuff behind that. All right, and then um, lastly, uh, we're going to be starting your paper, okay, the, which you had a, a video last week that kind of, told you a little bit about, uh, actually a lot about the paper. Uh, that video is embedded right here as well. It was in your course news. You can always go back and catch it either way. But uh, you're going to be writing a paper that's going to be titled The Financial Management in and Healthcare Reform. Okay. And, uh, you know, four pages. And I won't go into all that because I talk about all this in the video. So watch the video. What I want you to Remember, this is a, a slight deviation from the syllabus, okay, which I mentioned last week. If you watch the video on the paper, I'm going to say it again this week. It is not going to be due until the end of Module 8, okay? So Sunday at midnight, last day of the course, the paper will be due, okay? So you got two weeks to write uh, to write a four-page paper. You guys have been knocking out two-page papers very consistently. Obviously, you have a two-page paper, again, a topic essay on the revenue cycle, okay? Um, but start working on this paper uh, today, okay? Start work. Don't wait until next week. Now, I will give you a little heads up. 
next week, uh, as I'm looking at the syllabus, next week we do have a topic essay. So you're going, oh God, Chris, I got a topic essay and I'm going to be finishing up this paper. Again, this paper shouldn't be that bad. I will say module eight's topic essay will not be very difficult. Okay. Um, basically, oh, I'll tell you what the topic is. The topic for the topic essay, for those of you that had me before, what I'd like to do is to is to bring um, back the Mercy Corps values as they apply to the course that we have. So you're going to be pulling a couple of the Mercy Corps values, which you should know, okay? Uh, but don't worry, I'll give them to you. <laughs> so the Mercy Corps values and how they really, how do you see them applying to the application of, you know, financial management within a healthcare organization. I think it's, you know, you could pull a couple of them pretty easy, how they connect uh, to that. And then you're just going to write a little bit about that. So you're, you know, you might be looking at three paragraphs and nothing that you need to research, you know, more of just, I want you to think about the values and I want you to connect them to what we've been doing in this course. So not, not too difficult. So that's a look ahead in module eight. All right. So you've got a little bit, uh, it'll be a little bit lighter with the, uh, with the writing. So you can focus on, make this a nice polished paper, make it your crowning, you know, written assignment. Again, it's small. It's only four pages. Uh, you know, you've been, all of you've been really, really doing, um, you know, progressing in your uh, topic essays. Some of you've been doing great from the get go. Some of you have made some really great improvements in those topic essays. This will be kind of your, again, the topic essay on steroids. Uh, so I'll have you spend a little bit more time on this paper that week. Okay, so that should help. But don't, please don't wait until, uh, you know, next week uh, in module eight to start the paper because then you'll be in a world of hurt because we still have, um, we're still going to have learning activities in module eight and we're going to have a final exam in module eight. Okay, so plan ahead, do a little bit of time management, you know, start a little bit on this paper and you'll be fine. All right. So that concludes pretty much all that we're doing. Let me just double check here. I think that's all we have in module seven. Um, scoot this box down here. Yep. That's what we've got. And checking the syllabus, that is all we have for this week. So that concludes our weekend review for module seven. And as always, thanks for watching.